is because, say, we want to change the uh, uh, background color of the helmet. And I'll show you how to do this in just a second. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over uh, where it says uh, create uh, Maya nodes uh, under surface. I'm going to click on layer shader. It looks like a sphere that's cut into three parts, uh, red, yellow, and blue. I'm going to click on that and put that in front of the helmet white. Okay. And under over in the layer shader attributes, um, there is a long box here uh, surrounded by a red border with a green box and a little X underneath it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take the helmet white, whoops, take the helmet white, center click, drag it over to layer shader attributes, and drop it in there. And once you do that, you can click on the little X under the green box, and that gets rid of um, the empty shader. Want to get rid of that as soon as you drop in. Um, whatever texture or color you, you want. Um, now one of the things you want to do is make sure any color or shader or texture that you drop into layer shaders you want to have it named because it's easier when when you scroll over the um, little box it comes up helmet white. It's easier to see uh, what you've typed in there rather than going Blend 12. Okay, which one's Blend 12? And you go through like 15 different blends, and you got to click on it and got to figure out what it is. Um, so I know this is the white color of the helmet, and it has you know the Saturn Saturn mapped onto it. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go over to Lambert, make another Lambert uh, shader, go to color, and we're going to make this uh, purple. Yeah, I'll stand out. Okay, and we're going to click on layer shader two. Uh, middle mouse click and drag that over to the layer shader and Lambert 12 will be sitting behind uh, helmet white and because you don't see anything yet because we still have helmet white mapped to the helmet now uh, we're going to okay here's a fun part to select instead of when you when you select object mode and you select the helmet you're selecting everything the stripe of the helmet everything in order to select just the half of the helmet, um, I have one side of the helmet covered what colored white, other half colored white. The center stripe is colored blue. So all you have to do is go to helmet white, right click, and right in the center, select objects with material. That'll only select parts of the helmet that are that is colored white. Okay, so now that we got that selected, right click on layer shader two, and at the very top. Assign material to selection. Click. There you go. And it'll come up gray because uh, Maya in the um, on your screen does not show layered shaders. Uh, you have to render it out in order to see what exactly is on there. So we're going to render this out real quick. Let me just check my settings. Make sure we're on software because we want this to render pretty quick. And preview quality. You see our, our, our final, our, not final render, but our render here. Uh, you're wondering why there's no purple in the back, background. Uh, well, pretty much, you know, not, nothing to freak out about. We just forgot to tell Maya to use um, the alpha or transparency of Photoshop um, in, in the uh, um, shader node. So what we're going to do, close that, and we're going to go back into our hypershade, and we're going to click on the PSD file texture 1 and open up the attribute editor and we're going to go to alpha to use and it's in file attributes it's right under link to layer set we're going to go uh, alpha to use click down we're going to use transparency and instead of default and that should do it and we're going to and you can see here now it's using the transparency and it cut out the center stripe of the uh, <coughs> Uh, center stripe of the stripe because the center stripe of the stripe is transparent so you won't be able to see anything render and as you can see uh, the what was white is now purple and if we actually had done it without the purple there would actually be nothing there because that whole area is a transparency um, probably can't see it but if you you know look down here in the corner it's just a bad angle the, the Saturn image is there uh, trust me when I say it is um, as you can see here, the transparency area of the stripe is gone. And you're probably wondering, you know, Steve, why didn't we just, you know, 
put the center stripe a color, you know, a, 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 an opaque color in Photoshop, well, we're going to save us uh, some troubles if we wanted to um, change the color of the of this uh, of the stripe, the center color of the stripe, uh, by leaving it transparent. I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, so open up the hypershade again. Let's make this a little bit larger. Okay, so let's change the the purple Lambert, and we're going to make it white because we want our helmet to be white. Let's go to color, click on the center, and just make it a perfect white color and close it up. And we're going to go to helmet blue and do exactly the same thing as the the helmet white. And we're going to create a layer shader, bring that down in front of the helmet blue. And we're going to send, center click Helmet Blue into the Layer Shader Attributes. Click the little X under the green box. Get rid of that. And we're going to create uh, another Lambert. <coughs> and bring that down under Helmet Blue. And actually, let me go up to the Lambert here. Diffuse. Okay, and we're going to go back down to Lambert 13. And we're going to make this a nice orangey color. A blue and orange go good together. Complementary colors. All right, that looks good. Go over diffuse, diffuse, make that one, and click on layer shader three, and middle mouse click Lambert 13, drag it over. So now that it's behind helmet blue, and hold on a minute, I'm just going to do some uh, housekeeping here and rename some stuff. So control double left on Lambert 12, and we're going to just name it white. Enter, control double left. Lambert 13, and we'll just name it orange. Enter, and there you go. So now we have the orange behind helmet blue. And so, since the orange is not is not a transparency, it's opaque, and it's behind the helmet blue, which has a transparency, you'll be able to see the orange behind the transparency. So now you'll get an orange stripe between the two blue ones. So what we're going to do now is center click on helmet blue and we're going to select objects with material so that'll center uh, select the center stripe and we're going to do is layer shader 3 and we're going to click assign material to selection and we're going to just rename these so uh, control double left layer shader 3 and we'll name the stripe and control double left layer shader 2 and we'll call this helmet Enter. And of course, you're not going to see anything here because, again, Maya doesn't show uh, anything for layer shaders. <clears throat> You'll just see gray. Okay, so let's try and get this at a decent angle so you can see. Okay, got our little Saturn in the middle. And you see over here, we've got the orange stripe where our transparency would be, sitting in the middle between the two blue stripes. All right. So that shows you how to do that. And we'll close that out. And now we just have a uh, have a gray helmet here. Now, the last thing I want to one of the last things I want to show you is um, we want to make the entire helmet um, is, is or you could also you know make your your Lambert a blend you know make the white a blend then helmet white a blend and helmet blue a blend and orange a blend and you have to go through. And you know, just make sure all the numbers are right, and that that's just a, a pain in the ass. So the easiest thing to do is we're just going to set everything, make sure everything is a Lambert. And this just assures continuity uh, between all your all your shaders and stuff. Okay, and what we're going to do is go over here, create a blend, and this is going to be our gloss coat, and we're going to make the color white. Go down to diffuse, make that 100, make the transparency completely 100. And the cool thing is here is that even though it'll be transparent, it's still physically there, so you'll be able to get a reflection off it. You'll be able to get uh, a, a specular highlight off it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the eccentricity of the specular shading down to about 140, and the specular roll off um, like just under 800, 7, uh, 785. And specular color. Bring it to white. Reflectivity uh, between 3.3 3 and 0.4. Reflected color all the way up. And 
Let's make the eccentricity a little bit larger. Specular roll off a little bit higher. All right, so now we have our one gloss coat.